Hi guys, it's Ashish from Guiding Tech and if you are somebody like me who is working from home, Zoom is probably your best favorite app right now. Am I right? This video conferencing app is used by professionals all over the world including our team at Guiding Tech. Now while everybody uses it, only a few know how to master it and well this video is all about those tricks. Yes. I'm Ashish, you're watching Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll be talking about some cool tips and tricks for all the Zoom users out there. Well, let's get started. So guys, we have performed all these steps on a Windows computer. However, I have checked them and they are similar for Mac OS as well. So if you are on Windows or if you are on Mac, this video is for you. So the first trick here is pretty simple, which is to change the background behind you. To do this, just click on the cog wheel icon that is for settings and then click on virtual background. Here you can choose a background from given options or better yet, you can even add a custom image here if you like. Now this comes in really handy if you're someone like Varun who keeps his room pretty messy, unlike me who always has a nice background. Yeah, you can see, right? Now another thing that you can do here is make your skin look a bit smoother. You know what I mean? Yes, the beauty filter. Now, well, I don't need it, but if you are somebody who really wants to have that beauty effect on your face, then you can enable it right here. So to get that done, just head over to the video tab and then enable the toggle next to the touch up my appearance. It's that simple and it does make a difference, especially if you're seated in an average lit room. So moving on, let's talk about a scenario. And I think almost all of us would have found himself or herself doing this. Yes, minutes of the meeting. So, well, my boss asked me to upload minutes of the meeting once we are done with a GT team video meeting and here's what comes in handy. So basically Zoom allows you to record an entire meeting so that you can easily rewatch it and then make perfect pointers without missing out on anything. Now to do that, head on to the recording tab and enter a file location for where you'd like to save the meeting. So yeah, now each time you host a meeting, just click on the record button to start the recording. Now here's something that you must remember. First of all, a host can start a video recording without any issues. However, if you're not a host, but somebody who is participating in a meeting, you need to take permission from the host and it can be easily done. However, uh, it's very simple and you can also enable it while you're scheduling a video. I mean, you're scheduling a meeting, so no issues there. Okay, so here's another one. And as you must know, that Zoom usually works in a way that it keeps switching the main video from person to person at different intervals based on their speech, right? But what if I told you that you can see all the screen in one glance? Yup, to do that, simply click on the gallery view option in the top right corner where you are in a call. And if there are 49 or fewer participants in a call, you should get a grid of all the webcams on your screen. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so another thing that Zoom allows you to do is communicate using reactions. Now, it is very useful if you don't want to cut somebody right in the middle of a meeting while he or she is speaking and still you want to communicate what you express, I mean, what you want to express on his opinion. So to do that, while you are inside a call, you can simply click on the reaction button and react with the emoji of your choice. And it will be shown as a reaction in that particular meeting. Now the next trick is very simple, but very useful. And that is how to mute or unmute yourself using a keyboard shortcut. Now I know that you can use the mouse pointer, but it's very tricky to like find that particular microphone icon and then muting or unmuting yourself. Yes, it can be tedious task, but then all you need to do is press Alt plus A on your keyboard. Yep, that's it. And you can easily toggle the status of your mic. Now, while we are talking about keyboard shortcuts, the next trick is also very useful and that is a keyboard shortcut to help you do screen sharing. Yes, I mean, we all do screen sharing in a Zoom meeting, but then keyboard shortcut can really ease it for you. So to do that, all you need to do is press Alt plus S to start or stop screen sharing. And that's all. 
there's a whole bunch of different keyboard shortcuts from Zoom that you can try out based on the features you need. And the link to that will be in description below. So well, those were some of the best tips and tricks for all the Zoom users out there. Now, if you think that we missed some of your favorites, please do mention them in the comment section. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit the subscribe button right now for more such amazing videos. Well, that's all in this one. I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day.